All right, we're going to close the show out. <laughs> this man is hilarious. He used to rip stages with me. Not, I mean, we don't know each other, but I saw him, and I was like, man, you was good. All the way back when I started, he's going to Atlanta's finest. Y'all put your hands together for comedian Kelly K. Dove. <laughs> Man, y'all show love, show love, show some love. I like y'all, man. They made a nigga take a goddamn COVID test for this shit right here, nigga. I'm gonna catch the shit out here. What the fuck is wrong with y'all, man? It's cold in the motherfucker. I hate when it's cold. I'm dark skin. My skin get ashy quick in the motherfucker. What the dark skin people that make some noise? You know what the fuck I'm talking about, nigga. Lips get chapped. You see somebody lips so chapped they make you put on your chapstick? Like, God damn, there he is right there. That nigga, that nigga lips are like a margarita glass. How the fuck you do that, nigga? They got a little piece of skin hanging off their lip. You ever see that skin? You ever see somebody with that skin, you want to pull it off, but you don't know him like that? You be like, I don't know this motherfucker, though. I pull it off. They know it's going to come off some way. As soon as he start talking, that shit going to fly on me, God damn it. The skin fly on you, that motherfucker keep talking like ain't shit flew on. You be like, nigga, you just spit in my goddamn mouth. You know you just spit in my goddamn mouth. I hate when it's cold. You don't even want to get the rest of your gas when it's cold on it. You don't want the rest of that shit. You get $20, that shit slow down and start ticking at 1980. You be like, oh, hell no. They can have that 20 cent. They can kiss my ass. I'm not about to hold that pump. It's too cold out here. That's the only time you trust a crackhead when it's cold. You don't give a fuck about a crack. When it's cold outside, you trust them. They, as soon as they walk up to you, can I pump that gas? Hell yeah, you can pump it, goddamn it. I love your ass. Come pump this shit. I'm about to sit in this car. You'll give them your debit card. 2512. Go on pump that shit, man. Go in there and fix me two of them hot dogs, too, shit. I don't give a fuck. It's too cold for me to get out this goddamn car. I trust you. Take that debit card in there and tell them you me and 2512 and get them two hot dogs. Pump that goddamn gas, man. It's cold as hell, man. That coronavirus, y'all really dealing with this shit around here in Atlanta. Niggas don't give a fuck about it. I swear to God, I live there. My mask in my back pocket. How many people got their mask on your neck? I hate that motherfucker with their mask on their neck. Like you can see it, it come in and put the mask on real quick. Get the fuck out of here, man. Keep that mask on you, though. You don't want to be at the store and ain't got that motherfucker. You get to the front of the store and your mask in the car, you be mad as a motherfucker. Like, God damn, I don't feel like walking back to this car. I walk back to this car, I'm going home, God damn it. You see a little mask on the ground, you be like, I wonder if I can put that on real fast and go in here. I ain't goddamn put it on. I ain't gonna put the, put the shit on my ears. I'm just gonna hold it in front of me. Did you get your nasty ass out of here? Coronavirus real. I thought that shit was fake till my homeboy auntie died. I was like, yeah, that shit real. That shit real than a motherfucker. A lot my homeboy auntie, she died. Fucked me up. A lot of people died. Lil Richie died last year. Fucked me up when Lil Richie died. You wanna know why he fucked me up? Cause I thought he was already dead. I was like, what the fuck? How the fuck you die again? I thought the fuck this nigga die again. Nigga, I thought he died back when I was like first, second, or third grade. Well, one of them grades when you don't give a fuck when somebody died. One of them grades. You first, second, third grade, you don't give a fuck who died. Your grandma died. Can I go to the park tomorrow? I just told you my goddamn mama died. All you want to do is go to the park. <laughs> Fucked up you, yeah, man. Why when you tell somebody somebody dead, they always tell you they just seen them like that shit gonna help? You know Fred died. Damn, I just saw him at Walmart. Yeah, he dead now. I don't give a fuck about what you talking about. He dead. Damn, I asked him how he was doing. He said good. He lied like a motherfucker. He was not doing good. That nigga died as soon as he left Walmart. Shit. That nigga tell me he doing good. How the hell you doing good and you go off and die? He was not doing good. When the funeral? Next Tuesday? Damn, he picked the wrong week to die. Shit, I'll go to that motherfucker. He picked the wrong goddamn week. I'd have told that dough down about it. God damn, shit, I can't make it, though. I hate a motherfucker that can't make it. That motherfucker that can't make it piss you off. They got it. I told my homeboy the other day, are you coming to my birthday party? He was like, God damn, when the next one? When the next one? What the fuck are you talking about, nigga? The next one is next year. Ain't no next. Fuck wrong with you, man. Fucked up your 2021 shit, man. Kobe Bryant died. Fuck me up. The motherfucking goat. Then Lamar Odom went on there and tweeted, talking about uh, if God could change it, he wish it was him instead of Kobe. 
I was like, me too, nigga. I wish it was your ass too. I retweeted it. Yeah, nigga, I like to tweet and everything. Hell yeah, I trade a dead Kobe for a, a live Lamar Odom right now today, goddammit. Hell yeah, I wish your ass was dead. Not dead, but I wish Kobe come back and you get the fuck on. Get me. <laughs> Not that I'm wishing death, but you said it first. I'm just retweeting a tweet that you had already tweeted at one point. I don't wish death on nobody, but the deal, he said, I couldn't turn that shit down. I was like, hell yeah, retweet that shit. You wish you could change it around. Couldn't turn that shit down. Not me. Not for the goat, goddammit. Get Lamar Odom stinking ass on out of here, man. <laughs> Kobe was riding in a 1991 helicopter. Did y'all know that? 1991, man. Fuck me up when I found that out. And they still don't even know what's wrong. They don't even know what the fuck happened, man. I know what happened. That motherfucking alternator went out in that motherfucking helicopter. You kiss my ass, I don't give a fuck what you say. If you got a 91, the alternator go out. If I got a 1991, my goddamn alternator went out too. I had the same 1991. It wasn't a helicopter, but it was a Mercury Topaz. But my motherfucking alternator went out one morning. I was on the way to my grandma's funeral. That motherfucking alternator went out. I didn't give a fuck who funeral it was. Alternator went out. And I checked every goddamn thing. That motherfucking alternator. That's why they don't know what happened. They scared to say what happened. They know. They don't want to wake up and be like, it was just that damn alternator, man. That motherfucking alternator. That stinking ass alternator. Bitch, son of a bitch. I'm telling you what it was. It was a fucked up year. That motherfucking 2020 wasn't shit, man. It wasn't shit. Motherfucking fellas, get y'all shit together, too. Get you some motherfucking money, man. Niggas ain't got nowhere to stay. How many women know niggas ain't got nowhere to stay? Clap it up. Fellas ain't got nowhere to stay. Fellas stay with y'all ass or somebody. You can tell when the fella ain't got nowhere to stay. You ask them where they stay at, they refer to it as a little spot. I'm like, where you stay at, Tony? You got a little spot over there in Compton. You ain't got no motherfucking spot. Too lying ass out here. Ain't nobody ever paid no bills to no spot. Women, y'all got a spot, but y'all ain't got no furniture in that motherfucker, man. Shit me. Women, the women have furniture in the front room. You turn that corner, they don't be shit down there. You be like, hell no. The bathroom down there, can you go with me? I don't want to go down there by my goddamn self. You ain't got no furniture down there. That's when you know you're going to get some pussy when you don't see no furniture. You'll be like, I know this bitch going to give me some pussy. She did not bring me over here to see this bullshit. I know. She brought me over here to fuck. I know she not putting this shit on display. This shit is some bullshit. Baby, what are we doing in the garage? It's the living room. Oh, shit. I thought we was in the garage. This, this look like a garage. A kid is up 4 o'clock in the morning and they got a sucker stuck to his shirt. God damn, this nigga... I know I'm about to get some pussy. This bitch letting me see all this abuse. I know I'm about to fuck. This bitch letting me see everything. I ain't been here for four minutes. I know I'm about to fuck. I go in the room to fuck. This bitch got an air mattress with a real headboard on it. I, this bitch got an air mattress with a real headboard. I thought it was a real bed till I tried to put my shoes under the bed. It wasn't no under the bed. I said, bitch, ain't no under the bed. This bitch, this bitch ain't got no under the bed. Fuck, you ain't got no under the bed. I thought it was a real bed, bitch. I leaned on the bed. It slid over. I said, bitch, your bed is slid in the kitchen. I don't know if you want to fuck in the kitchen or you want me to bring it back in the room and fuck in the room. But I fuck in the kitchen if that's where you want to fuck. Because your bed slid in there when I was trying to put my pistol under the bed. But I found out it wasn't no under the bed. So I... Yeah, air mattress pussy. Air mattress pussy, way better than regular bed pussy. Any day, I bet money on that. If you want to bet money, I keep air mattress in the trunk. I don't give a fuck when you got a bed. I'm going to blow my shit up and fuck you on that air mattress because I know that pussy going to be 10, 12 times better, man. I fucked a bitch on the air mattress. The bitch had an air mattress. That motherfucker was good pussy, man. And she had a slow leak. Didn't tell me shit. I fucked her. She had a slow leak. I heard it, but I ain't say nothing because I ain't want to, you know, fuck it up. I was, I hadn't fucked up. Bust that nut, woke up, I was on the floor. My whole back was on the floor. That air had went out the mattress. Ah, damn, bitch, I can feel my back. I can see under the dresser, bitch. I can see under the dresser. Damn, my back hurting. Shit. All my change had slid out my pocket, bitch. Ah. Shit. I'm, I'm reaching for her. She ain't even laying next to me. Bitch, where you at? I go in the living room, she on the couch. Bitch, you know you got a slow leak in your room. Yeah, somebody stole my chain, bitch. You or your kids. My kids didn't get your change. Well, you stole my goddamn change, because I had some change. 
I came in here with some change. <laughs> you or your kids, one of y'all. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, you better get that shit together. Get that shit together. <laughs> Uh, hamburger meat. Hamburger meat. Please, <laughs> I'll pay you. Nah, I ain't gonna do that one. I got another one, man. I'm gonna do another one, nigga. She said, let's hear it. How many of y'all gamble? Clap it up, you gamble. Shoot dice, play lottery, any type of shit. Motherfucker, that gamble don't win shit, man. They don't win shit. They just like to show you how they could've won. They love to show you how they could have won. They walk right up to you. Look at that right there. If I had to put a seven, four, three, and a six, I'd have tore their ass up. Did you win? No, I didn't win shit, but if I had to put a seven, four, three, and a six, I'd have worn the whole billboard up there. I'd have gave you something. I'd have took something. But what you win? That's what I'm trying to tell you. I didn't win shit because I didn't put that seven, four, three, and a six. But you say you had some good news. That's the good news. If I had to put a seven, four, three, and a six, I'd have tore their ass up. I look at the ticket, he put four nines on there. I'm like, look at this four nines. Man. That's what I'm trying to tell you. If I'd have put a seven, four, three, and a six, I'd have gave you something, I'd have took the rest. That one gonna give everybody nothing. Man, you wasn't gonna win shit. You ain't put but four nines. I know it, you ain't put shit. I put, if I'd have put that seven, that four, that three, and that six right there, I'd have told the ass up and won the whole billboard. Man, you didn't win shit, man. You tell me you had some good news, told me to close my phone up. Turn the phone off. Let me show you something. If I had to put a seven right there and take that nine off, put a four, take that other nine off, put a three, six. People that gamble. They gamble anywhere, too, man. People that gamble will go anywhere and gamble. They gamble anywhere, bro. You don't know what they doing. My homeboy, he had me take him to McDonald's. He had me take him because I, I wasn't going to take him. So he had me take him up there. The nigga go, he didn't want to go through the drive through He went in the motherfucking, he went in. I'm like, what the fuck you want to go in for, man? So I'm in there. I ain't paying attention because you, you, I'm watching a little R. Kelly documentary part three and I ain't paying no attention. He was in there for about an hour, man. I go in there. I'm like, what the fuck? He done bought 37 large fries. He in there gambling. 37 large fries. He trying to win that Monopoly pill-off shit. 37 large fries. He didn't win shit but two free hash browns. He was still happy. Look at that. You said I wasn't going to win shit. What that say right there? It say two free hash browns. I told you I was going to tear their ass up. You got to come in there early in the morning and catch the ass. That's what I try to tell you. I said, what you win? That's what I'm trying to tell you. Two free hash browns. I give you one, I take the other one. I wasn't going to eat both of them, but I'm gonna, I'll save one. Okay, what you win? That's what I'm saying. I I didn't even look at them right there yet. It might be something on them too, but I know I won two free. <laughs> Nigga, you bought 47 large fries. Yeah, I know it, but I won. That's what I'm trying to tell you. I won two free hash browns. That's all I do is win, 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 no matter what. Like, Nigga, you spent... <laughs> You spend fifty-eight dollars and thirty-three cents on French fries. I know it, but I get these for free. I ain't gotta get them shit. I spent all that money, but I get something for free. That's all I like to win. It's just a thrill. When I win, I just take me to another place. That's what I'm trying to tell you. I, nigga, you technically paid for the motherfucker hash brown. No, I technically won two free hash brown. Excuse me, ma'am. Do you work here? Would you tell the fella in the black shirt that I won two free hash brown? I'm gonna get one now. I'm gonna eat the other one on my lunch break. Be tad in half. I give you the piece back. The hash brown be good as shit, bro. Nigga, the hash brown at McDonald's is the best hash brown on the planet, bro. Niggas hate McDonald's, but that hash brown is delicious, man. It's just small as fuck. You be through eating it before you get out the parking lot, don't you? You be at the stop sign like, God damn, I should have got two of them motherfuckers, man. Damn, I should have got two of them. The bitch asked me if I wanted two. I said, no, shit. Damn, I should have got two of them. I spent 87 cents on one. Shit, I should have got two of them. They went with 106 for two of them. I should have got fucking two of them. I got one. Damn, I wonder if I take that other 19 cent round. I wonder if they give me that other hash brown because I just left. I'm pretty sure they remember my face because I come through here all the well, time. Welcome to McDonald's. May I take your order, please? Yeah, I just uh, left out the line. I was trying to see if I could 
uh, bring another 19 cent around there because I was trying to get the other hash brown because I had already got one. I left out the parking lot. I seen the sign said two for a dollar. I had spent 87 cent on one. I knew I had fucked myself over. I was trying to see if I could bring the other 19 cent around there and get the hash brown. Sir, can you repeat your order, please? Yeah, no, I was saying I had bought one hash brown. I had left out the parking lot. I saw the sign said two for a dollar. And I had spent 87 cent on one. I knew I had fucked myself over. So I was trying to see if I can bring the other 19 cent. I got two cars behind me. I don't want to hold y'all lying up. I already been here. I'm supposed to be at work at 7 o'clock. It's 827. I want to get down. <laughs> Sir, you say you want an order of hash browns? Yeah. No, I said I want the other hash brown because I had already got one hash brown. So I'm trying to get the other one because I had already spent 87 cent on one. And I seen that sign said two for a dollar. But you can't see it when you come in off 12th Street. Cause the sign, if I knew I fucked myself over, and I was trying to, cause I still got the receipt, trying to see if I could bring that around there and get the. <laughs> sir, can you drive around, sir? Can you drive around? Yeah, I can drive around. I just want to make sure you understand the deal. I ain't got but the 19 cent, and I got the receipt, cause I had saw the sign late, cause I came in off 12th Street, and I got six cars behind me. I'm supposed to be at work at seven o'clock. It's 12:27. I want to at least show my face, cause they'll let me come in later if I can still show my face. Sir, so just drive. <laughs> I drove around. She just gave me the hash brown. I, I said, you want the 19 cent? Get the fuck out of my goddamn line. Nigga, you come through here every goddamn week. Tell me another hash brown. Give me that goddamn hash brown. <laughs> the hash brown, good as a motherfucker, man. You take a woman out of this, she don't want no goddamn hash brown, though. You take a woman out, you go out by yourself, your bill won't be number $29.17, man. You take a woman with your shit, 14112, you be like, God damn, bitch, that shit left you in the car. <laughs> I took a woman to Ruth Chris. You ever been to Ruth Chris? That shit good as fuck, man. I ain't want the bill, though. They texted me the bill. I ain't know they had my phone number. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> bitch just texted to me. My bill was 341. She told me, what you gonna get? I'm like, bitch, you done eight minds. That's it right there. You done eight minds. I'm about to go to the bathroom and jump out the window on your ass. That's what I'm about to do. They brought the bill to the table. I looked at the bill like it was a poker hand. I was like, oh, hell no. Nah. I fold. Hit me with another one, goddammit. I cannot pay that bill. If I pay that bill, you might as well go and give me the pussy. I know you got it on you. That's some fucked up shit to say to a woman. Go and give me the pussy. I know you got it on you. <laughs> Fuck you talking about the pussy. I can see the print right there at the front. Go and give me the pussy. I know you got it on you. Let's go and give me that pussy. I know you got it on you. You may not have no money, but I can see the print. Let's go and give me that pussy. Don't pull them panties down. Goddamn panties. Some women think we gentlemen because we let them order first. Women, we let y'all order first so we can balance out the price of the meal at the end. I don't want to fuck around and get a prime rib and you get one too. What would you be having, ma'am? Prime rib? You, sir? Should I tell you what? Just bring some more of that bread back for right now. Matter of fact, I got a can of corned beef hash out there in the trunk. Matter of fact, I want two free hash browns. I'm going to get this goddamn hash brown. I came here yesterday and got one, and I can't say I'm going to get the other one on my lunch break. I had told you that because you was here when I came. I was arguing with a young fella. He said I hadn't won nothing, but I knew. <laughs> hey, man, what's up, man? What's up? I supposed to be going or what? No, just keep going. I will fuck it, man. Hamburger. I got another one, bro. I'll pay you right now. No, I got you, but I'm finna tell you, I got another one. They didn't put Harriet Tubman on the $20 bill, bro. That's fucked up. They didn't put on that, man. Man, you, you did some shit on that by Harriet Tubman in 20. You got to do that shit, bro. Cause they, I, I want her to be on that bitch on 2020, but they ain't do that shit. Fuck me up, because when I Google, I seen all the little tub dubs on there and shit. Well, you know, that's what we call them in the hood, but they call them tub dubs. On the, I don't know what the fuck they call them at. I just seen when I Google tub dub, that's what came up. And, it, <laughs> and they got Harriet Tubman face on about six different 20s, but they ain't put it out. And I wonder why, and I was reading some stuff. They were like, they ain't found a good picture yet. I'm like, what the fuck is a good picture? Ain't like she's going to take another picture. Whatever the fuck you got down there at the office, that's all they got. There ain't no more Harriet Tubman pictures. They ain't gonna find no graduation picture of them. Find, you know, hell no. 
See, at the prom, the ones you got is the ones you got to use. When they said that to me, they can't find a good picture. I was like, damn, they probably thought the same thing I always thought. You know, Harriet Tubman's always had that strong little Mal Davis face, but that's what I figured. I said, they don't want to use on the picture because she got that little strong face. They put everybody else on some shit, but they don't want to put Harriet Tubman. A lot of people don't want to say Harriet Tubman got a strong face, but she actually do got a little strong face. She don't look like Mahalia Jackson. She don't look like Rosa Parks. She look like Mal Davis over there. That's where she at. And a lot of people don't, I ain't saying she ugly shit, but she did do some ugly shit. Like, she did free some goddamn slaves. You got to be an ugly, strong, you got to be a motherfucker to free a slave back in 1853. Like, and she was married. Like, you got to be an ugly motherfucker for your man to even let you out the door late at night like that. Ain't no dude letting this girl out the door like that. They ain't even let you be beautiful. You be like, hell no, bitch, you finna suck this dick. You ain't finna do that. It's Friday night. You ain't freeing no slave, bitch. I told you when you freed me, I was the last slave you gonna free. <laughs> I told you this. <laughs> nigga ain't gonna let no nigga let an ugly bitch out the house. Go ahead, go ahead, free him, bitch. Don't let me know when you're on the way back. I swear to God, I don't give a fuck where you're going. Just go. And I seen the movie too. They had a woman playing her that didn't look like Miles Davis. They had another woman that looked like Jennifer Hudson playing her. You saw the movie? I seen that shit. She did a good job, except she didn't look like the Harriet Tubman I grew up looking at. Harriet Tubman looked more like me than motherfucking that woman. <laughs> That guy, that woman, that woman did a good job, but she ain't do a good job. They should have got Don Cheeto to play that goddamn role. He'd have towed that motherfucker down. I saw him in Hotel Rwanda. He did the same shit. They could have converted it right over there, gave him a little ponytail. He'd have towed that motherfucker down, man. She got older. They bring Danny Glover in to play her when she a little older. Keep the same ponytail for continuity. Y'all kiss my ass, man. Harriet Tubman, man. She did some good shit. But they didn't bring that twin out because they don't like her face, man. That's all it is, man. They need to bring that motherfucker out. Bring that motherfucking twin out. Motherfucking Harriet Tubman. Bring that goddamn twin out. Speaking of twin, pay everybody back you owe too. Pay everybody back. They talk about you behind your back. If you owe somebody, they talk about you for nothing. Nigga, well, are you going down to the comedy show? I would if that nigga Freddie bring my goddamn money, but I don't know. <laughs> Who is Freddie? Nigga, you be shooting ball with tall nigga, long hair. You know, nigga owe me and shit, man. I done saw his ass twice, shit. You ever had a motherfucker owe you some money and want to borrow some more? You, they walk up like they about to pay you. How much I owe you? 40? Make it 80. I get all back to you Tuesday. I get all back on one wop. I'm going to give it all back. I was going to pay the other day, but I didn't see you. And I spunt it. When I didn't see you, I spunt it. When a nigga say spunt, it's gone. When I didn't see you, I spunt it. Motherfucker say he spent it, he got something left. You spent it? Yeah, I spent it, but I got about 20 left. You spun it? Yeah, I spun it, man. <laughs> ain't got nothing. I ain't got shit. I pulled my pockets out like rabbit ears. Ain't shit under here. Man, it's cold as shit. I would stay up here with my nose getting snotty as a motherfucker, man. Hey, man. Y'all been a good-ass crowd, man. Y'all been a hell of a crowd. It's cold as fuck. Y'all have a nice night. Hey, look. Follow me on social media. Comedian k one Y'all have a nice night. Holla. I, I, my stomach is hurting.